you got it, girl, you got it. strength training and I'm so happy I did I was missing the gym in the last video I was on my period so y'all saw that I was mostly walking doing yoga you know like nice calm activities but today I hit the gym again and I hit glutes and hamstrings you know what's crazy I finished this whole thing almost at the gym like who knew the key to drinking a ton of water this early is to go to the gym and have a strength training session i was just like taking sips with every set and i'm all the way down here i have like less than a third of water left to drink so i just need to do one more workout and do my reading and i'm done for the day but i am gonna go take a shower freshen up <laughs>
Okay, y'all, we are out for our walk. Good afternoon. It's definitely not morning time. It's 1.22. Um, and yeah, we're just walking and then I'm gonna hit the gym because I really want to lift some weights. Happy 75 day 31. Ah! Yeah, we've made it a whole month. Mm-hmm. I actually need to give myself my stickers because I haven't been updating my calendar, so I need to do better. Yep, I need to give myself four days, well, three days worth of stickers because we're not done with today. But look at my calendar. It's freaking filled. Top to bottom. Wow, wow. Some of them have more stickers because I have like social media goals for like weekly postings and stuff. But I love that for me. One month down and I gotta just keep pushing because I'm almost halfway there. Like after next week, I'll be exactly halfway there. Anyways, um, I'm sweating literally from a walk as you can see right here. But yeah, I'm about to go to the gym now. Since I worked out my posterior chain two days ago and I'm still suffering because I'm still sore from that. Today I'm gonna do my anterior chain, so I'm gonna do quads, abs, yeah, quads and abs. Hey y'all, today we're going to the gym, you know, see, we got gym fit, got a sleeveless, and I got my little shorty shorts, the Gucci daddies, the yeah, Gucci daddies, you guys can see, you know. Thank God. <laughs> ready. Thank God they can't see that. Come on, guys. I'm going to show you what you did. No! <laughs> We're going to go to the gym. The key. Oh, really? It's right beside it, but it's close. to shower and relax for the not even relax i'm actually going to be editing all night today and i'm actually so excited to be home this saturday to just like not have any plans the last few sundays i've been putting like finishing touches on the vlog instead of enjoying my sunday which is what, what i typically like to do i don't want to do a whole bunch of labor on the lord's day so like i don't mind sacrificing tonight and going to sleep super late so that the vlog can be up early i just want to seize my day tomorrow and enjoy the long weekend it's labor day weekend by the way um it's pretty much the last weekend of the summer so i want to like enjoy it i just want to have my content like ready for y'all tomorrow we're actually going to my mom's house she's gonna make us oxtail we just bought like five pounds of oxtail my mom's gonna make it yo we've been having like oxtail battles <laughs> first my boyfriend's aunt made it and then then we made it or like he made it let me not say we then he made some last weekend it was good it was his first time so he was critical of it but like it was good to me um and then tomorrow my mom is gonna make it she was like, don't season it, just bring the oxtail like that. We were like, okay. But my family, like, we don't eat spicy food. It's just not a thing. Like, Dominicans and spice just don't go together. I know, like, at least, like, very traditional Dominicans in DR. 
But I feel like us Dominicans that live in America like spicy food, do we? <laughs> I know I do. I love spicy food. Um, but my family, they like, even if it's black pepper, they're going to be like, I was in my garden a couple hours ago, maybe an hour ago. Why did I try that vanilla insect repellent thing that everybody is talking about? Saying if you mix vanilla extract with water and spray it all over yourself, the mosquitoes won't bite you. Those mosquitoes still ate me up. <laughs> like, no matter what I try, the mosquitoes will find me. The only thing that works it's like deep and i try to be natural like i try to put essential oils on nothing works the only thing that works is the chemical deep woods and unfortunately that's just what i have to keep using like i try to use that when i know i'm about to shower because the smell is just too much so i don't like leaving it on my body but it's literally the only thing that works i had all good intentions of like cleaning up my garden, harvesting it, cleaning it up. Now the fall is coming. Um, and I like spritz myself with that all over, but it did not work. So I didn't really last much there. I just ended up watering my garden. I got so many bites. Anyways, I am really yapping. I'm going to shower. Wow, I was really talking for five minutes just now. Done with everything. I did my two workouts. I still have to read though. And I'm almost done with my water. Like I have the tiniest amount left. He has so much white stuff in his nose. It's kind of gross to show, but it's super satisfying. harder than I thought like it's cardio so I'm running up and down the court and stuff but it feels really good <sighs> oh um by the way I forgot my apple watch but I got my boyfriend to record his tennis so the results you see here will just be to show you my 45 minutes but it's my boyfriend's apple watch not mine because I left it charging Sweating so much because I wore the wrong clothes. 
I was I first had on like my little tennis skirt but then I saw that it's super gloomy outside and I thought it was it was supposed to rain too so I was like let me just wear long pants um what a mistake that was wearing sweats I was just dripping sweat um but it was fun what did you think of it I won no he didn't he kept throwing the ball like freaking six feet above me like I'm gonna reach I had to keep going like this stop game is game anyways he kept getting out like it was always out of the court I'm like pretty sure I won but who's counting what about girl math <laughs> girl math yeah, we anyways what did you think of it it was cool well, you were my tired, man. You would do it again? Yeah, because you kept me have, have to run for the ball because you throw it so out of the court. So we actually didn't know that we were supposed to have some kind of pass to play. It's like New York City Park, so I thought it was free. That's so elitist of them to do something like that. That's the first thing I'm going to say. Basically, you have to buy a pass. And for the season, it's like $100, which if you really think about it, it's not that much money if you actually like go. Um, but for a one day pass, it's $15 per person. So long term, it definitely makes sense to get the pass. But as soon as we get there, there's an older black gentleman there who was really nice. He was like, it doesn't make sense for you get, to get the pass because the season is going to end in like a month. So I'm just here like, oh darn. I was just going to buy the um, day pass. But at the end, he was like, you know what? Don't buy it. So we ended up playing for free. He was like, don't buy it. He was just trying to put up a front because like there were people around him looking and clearly they had their pass but he let us slide i was like thank you sir you're so nice the page was actually like loading like i had put i already have a new york city parks account because i took swimming lessons or i won the lottery for swimming lessons um i still don't know how to swim but yeah i took those classes for like eight weeks beginner to swim that's why i had my account so i logged in all my details were there so i was like paying when he said no don't do it and like it was loading like about to process the, the card um but yeah we got to play tennis for free and it was fun i actually want to do that more even if it's just like once a week but i don't know about that price like it just limits so many other people from having access to it and like i was one i was the only woman there at first it was pure guys. It's man men. But I like that it was like all ages. Like it was older people, younger people. Um, I really like to see that. But the lack of representation. Not only were we the only black people. But I was like one of two or three women there. But it was mad fun. I'll do it again. done with both of my workouts it's 4 30 and now i'm going to my mom's house for oxtail usted va a salir con su tubi en youtube I had to make my own brown rice and peace. Everybody else is eating white rice. Labor Day Monday, so 
Um, I just got ready to go to the West Indian Day Parade in Brooklyn. I gotta eat something like super fast because I'm about to meet up with Christine and we're gonna take the lure and let me breathe there. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of in a rush. But um, I did start drinking water. I'm just gonna bring a plastic bottle with me on the road. I drank one of those already. So I'm gonna refill it again, take it with me, and then if I have to buy a water somewhere, I'll buy one just to keep track of my water. I also have not done a single workout, but we're just gonna be like walking the parkway. So um, yeah, walking will be my workouts of the day, probably two walks. Yeah, that's what's up. I think the quickest meal right now. <laughs> because it was looking really bad and grown out I have already had it for like two weeks one thing I started doing is like breaking up tasks for myself to make it easier like today I took off the gel tomorrow like I could just like do my manicure and paint it um, even when it comes to like cleaning I try to like do one thing every day like let's say Monday I'll clean the bathroom Tuesday I'll like sweep and mop just so that like it makes it more bearable because when you think of like everything you need to clean let's say it seems like such an unsurmountable task like it seems like there's so much to do but if you break it into like different days it makes it so much easier and more bearable and like it's just less misery <laughs> um so i've been doing that with a lot of things including like my nails my hair even like when i took out my braids i just took out my braids washed and deep conditioned my hair left it in overnight and then i styled it the next day yeah that has been working wonders for me sometimes we just don't have that many hours in the day to do all the things that we want to do so yeah anyways i'm really chatting a lot right now i actually i'm going to get in the shower and rinse off the day for my body and then read and finish a little bit of water i have left today i did just walks like we spent the whole day walking from like two until we got home at like eight or nine so i just recorded like my walks which i did two of those were my workouts today
my run that was so good like i really had a great time chase chase wants to eat it's actually like one hour um past his eating time because we went for a run when he was supposed to eat because you're not supposed to feed dogs like up to an hour before they exercise or walk or like it causes bloat or something yeah so i make sure he eats an hour before we do any sort of physical activity oh it's so hot building more stamina so um i was about to run for 30 minutes straight and i'm also like kind of training chase to run because he runs so weird like if he wants to smell something or pee on a tree he's gonna go diagonal from me when i'm running so i'm also like trying to teach him what like go means what he knows what stop is but like i'm trying to teach him what like run is so that when we're running and we're about to take speed i can say run and that oh shit achievement 5k run yes period oh i got a new achievement on my apple watch but yeah we ran three point something miles it was good i'm gonna slowly build up to like five miles because i've always been able to do three um but i've never been able to go past three so at least like on concrete i can on a treadmill so i'm just gonna slowly build up to five miles which i feel like it's very possible if i just start running from the start i, I usually start by like walking briskly like i do a very brisk walk and then get into running but in the future i can just like stretch start running and like run non-stop that's my goal it's really nice out like it's cool i wore shorts but i wore a running jacket feels like fall like the air is super crisp also, I want to thank all of you for all of the love in my last video. Thank you for your thoughtful comments. Honestly, those comments mean the world to me because sometimes I feel like, why am I doing this? But y'all remind me why and I'm happy that I can inspire you guys and motivate you to develop healthier habits and like look after yourself and your body and your health so yeah thank you guys for motivating me as well there's a couple of you that are new to my channel as well so welcome i'm gonna shower and i'm gonna get to work so i'll catch up with y'all when i'm doing something eventful or during my second workout <laughs> to costco to buy some stuff i forgot my list at home i took a picture of it yesterday but um i added more stuff today and yesterday too so i hope i remember everything if not it's okay <laughs> Costco and got some groceries so I'm gonna show you what we got I also had the best salad from Panera Bread I ended up switching up the dressings though everything was delicious I actually want to recreate that salad because I loved it that much I have to quickly show you what I got and then I'm gonna run to the gym got some mangoes chicken stock some beets these are so convenient because they're whole and peeled and already cooked so i could already eat it as is like as a snack but i'm gonna be adding these to my salads um and beets are so good for you like they're a super food that's how great they are for you i love beets and i got this little jacket at costco because now that it's getting colder outside i'm gonna like be running with with long sleeve stuff so this can be like on top of all my layers and yeah, it's just like a cute little running jacket. Eggs. They haven't had brown eggs literally for the past month or two. I keep asking for brown eggs and they don't have them in stock. I don't know if that's like a Costco white thing or it's just that Costco. Almond butter. Plantains. Minced garlic. Oat milk. 
with Argentinian red shrimp. I love Argentinian shrimp. It's the best, if you don't even know. Sprouted pumpkin seeds. There's a ton of protein in these, and I can use this as like a salad topper um, or add it to my Greek yogurt with the granola and stuff. You know. Collagen peptides as well. Y'all already know how I feel about collagen. Greek yogurt. Honey. Celery stick. Lime. Blueberries. My boyfriend got turkey bacon because obviously this is very processed so I can't have turkey bacon during this challenge. And he also got parmesan cheese. Remember the popcorn I was telling y'all about that I love? It's this one. It's amazing. It's by Lesser Evil. By the way, I've been loving the Lesser Evil snacks. I've had several of their snacks. It's like clean, you know? Not any crazy ingredients, but this is their popcorn, and it's like with buttery and coconut oil flavor. It's just so good. Um, I bought this like a couple weeks ago when we went to the beach, and we love it so much that we got another one. Also repurchased this granola by New Trail. Got some quinoa in bulk because I eat a lot of quinoa and I keep getting the small packs from Trader Joe's but that doesn't make sense because I use so much of it. Some cashews, whole cashews, unsalted and unroasted. Peach free egg whites, the sprouted rolled oats. These are gluten free whole grain oats. These are pretty much the only oats I could eat because all the other oats apparently are like processed except like steel cut oats or like sprouted rolled oats. So yeah. I'll see how I like this. I'm probably gonna make overnight oats because I've been wanting to make that for such a long time But since I only have like the regular oats here, I haven't tried it Um, yeah, that's my grocery haul. I'm gonna change and go to the gym because it closes in an hour and a half. Bye! <laughs>
te ver crescer Me faz tão feliz saber que você Shit just got real, things are getting intense now I hear you talking about we a lot, oh you speak French now Giving me the sign so I gotta take a hint now I hit you up like do you wanna hang right now On the east side, and you know I'm with the gang right now. You say, do I wanna watch? Do I know what time it is right now? It's after 2 a.m. and that's asking a lot of you right now. All she talking about is come and see me for once. Come and see me for once. Y'all don't ever come to me. Y'all don't ever come to me. Yeah. All she hit me with is come and see me. to share this week's meal prep which i will insert in a second but first i wanted to tell you about this little magnetic ring this is actually by Syncwire. they sent me this but this is not sponsored they just sent this to me so i can share how i feel about it and i've been using it for about two weeks now and i freaking love it it is so perfect for so many different purposes especially for me like as a content creator it's a magnetic ring that attaches to your phone you can attach this to your refrigerator machines at the gym it folds in and out really nicely so if you're watching a youtube video you can pull this out and it can stand on its own and you can also make it lay horizontal this has been a game changer for me it attaches to any metal surface Surface. so if you're a gym girly like me it'll attach to gym machines so that like you can record your workouts I love that with all the different angle adjustments you have different recording options and different viewing options like if you want to record vertically or horizontally you just attach it to the metal surface depending on what position you want to record in and this is also perfect for like FaceTime and hence free video calls and streaming just overall like a very convenient magnetic ring that I didn't think I needed but, but I've definitely been loving it. I will link them down below in case you guys want to check them out. And yeah, thank you Syncwire for sending this over. I really love it. So I'm going to insert my meal prep here for y'all. So stay tuned if you want to see healthy high protein meals. For breakfast this week I made some overnight oats. I added oats, some oat milk but you can use your milk of choice, a tablespoon of chia seeds and a tablespoon of honey I also added a splash of vanilla extract and a tablespoon of Greek yogurt and I just mixed that all together and stored it in my fridge super easy and simple breakfast meal prep Y'all remember in last week's video, I was telling you that I severely under seasoned my ground turkey. So I ended up freezing it and then re-seasoned it, made it taste real good. And I made my egg bites again. This time I definitely perfected them. They came out so good. I'm so glad that I took another chance on these because these are delicious and they heat up very well for breakfast. I cut up some bell peppers and onion and greased my cupcake pan with some avocado oil. I added about two tablespoons of ground turkey to each egg muffin and seasoned my eggs with 21 seasoning salute. Cajun seasoning, smoked paprika, and whisked it all together. Make sure to check out my description box for the full recipe. I also added two third cups of cottage cheese. In last week's video, I made this recipe with ricotta cheese, but I think it tastes so much better with cottage cheese. I added the egg mix to the greased pan. And then added my onion and bell peppers and mixed it all together and it was ready to go. I baked it for about 15 minutes on 350 degrees Fahrenheit or until the top bubbled and that was it. And I also added cheese to my boyfriend's egg muffins but I didn't add any to mine. 
for lunch i made a shrimp rice bowl this is another favorite that's on rotation for my meal prep i started off by washing a cup and a half of brown rice and cooking that for about 20 minutes until all the water dried up And yes, you guessed it, I am making pico de gallo again because I am just honestly obsessed with this and adding this to my tacos, to my rice bowls, everything. So I've been making this pretty much on a weekly basis. I just mix my tomato, cilantro, onion, and I add a little bit of salt to taste and squeeze an entire lime. I'm seasoning my shrimp with fresh onion and garlic and adding all of my favorite powders. I'll leave all the information down below for y'all as always. I sprayed it with some avocado oil and added a scotch bonnet pepper to make it real spicy. And that's my lunch for the next three days. I store it in larger containers and then build my lunch every day with my rice, shrimp, pico de gallo, and corn. So good y'all, so delicious and definitely better than chipotle, like a thousand times better. For dinner, I made chicken soup. My boyfriend seasoned a ton of chicken, so I took advantage and made us some chicken soup. I sprayed avocado oil on my pots and sauteed fresh onion and garlic. I added this whole container of chicken stock because it's chicken soup, so I needed to taste like chicken and added all of my seasonings. This took me less than 20 minutes, y'all. I also had this frozen bag of veggies from Costco. So I combined everything together and made this delicious soup. This was the best comfort meal, especially because it's getting colder now. So I love me some soup when the weather gets a little cooler. And that concludes this week's meal prep. Let me know down below which one was your favorite and which one you're hoping to recreate at home. or fall emoji if you made it to the end i'm getting all the fall vibes thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video